So I'm reading this book, The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. And this book has taken me a long time to read because when I read a book, I just don't read. I read and I reread so I know it and memorize it. It's just one of my things. Um, and this one in particular is, um, it's a lot to digest. And I was being asked, because I usually get asked a lot in, uh, in my gym, even my own family, hey, what book are you reading? Because, you know, they always know I'm reading something and, you know, they are interested in hearing about it. Uh, at least they pretend to. And, you know, for the longest time, it was very hard for me to give my opinion on the book. And I was already halfway through. Um, normally, I get a feel for a book within the first couple of chapters. And here I am more than halfway through. And I'm being asked about this book that I'm reading. And they know if I'm halfway through, that means I have it half memorized. And, you know, I'm really uh, didn't know what to say because it was hard to digest. Um, and I think that had more to do with me than anything because, you know, by nature, I'm an optimist, right? The glass is half full, you know? And um, I always look for the better in people. It's just who I am and it's the kind of person I am. And you know what? I love people. I love people very much. I just want to help people. That's just the person that I am, you know? And I'm fine with that. I have embraced that. But this book, The 48 Laws of Power, halfway through reading it, it just turns your stomach upside down and makes you realize how fucked up people can be and how people abuse power. You know, we've all heard with great power comes great great responsibility, right? But a lot of people use their responsibility their responsibility, um, you know, they use it and they abuse it. And this book, The 48 Laws of Power, just doesn't, you know, teach you about manipulating others so it works out to your advantage, but it also teaches you how to safeguard yourself from others' abuse of power, Uh, you know, whether it's a dictatorship, but it uses history. It uses historical uh, facts And it pulls from a lot of the lessons we've learned through history, from, you know, King Louis to Machiavelli to Napoleon, uh, you name it, it's in there. And it's good to know, listen, I'm not a, um, I'm not very gullible. I've been around the block and I know probably before you even open your mouth, if you're full of shit or not in business and in life. But the same token too, when you're learning about and you're being taught chapter by chapter how to read into someone's intentions, even if they're a friend or a family member, it's eye-opening. And sometimes it could be unsettling Because again, if you're the kind of person that wants to think the best in people, and when you start learning people's intentions, what their intentions are, what they intend in regards to their relationship with you, not everybody is the good person you think they are. Not everybody is intending to help you out to help you out. A lot intend to help you to help themselves, right? So how does that happen? That happens a lot of the times when, you know, hey, I just want to help you out, but they have, they, they, they see something that could benefit themselves and there's nothing wrong with that. The only time there's something wrong with that when it's under the disguise of, hey, I want to help you out just to help you when they really don't. Now that's manipulation, right? They say that it's a gift when you give to give. It's a business transaction when you give to get. Something to think about. I'm probably going to post on this somewhere along the lines 
at www.yessbarbell.com and give my little book review. It's just one of the things I do, and I think it's uh, it's also important to spread knowledge on all planes of living, mind, body, spirit, the light and darkness. How you doing? My name is Joe Rossi. We are the Yes Training Barbell Club. We're a professional strength, conditioning, and skills gym for fighters. We pride ourselves on being the real-life Rocky Balboa gym. And uh, more to come on this book. Keep checking back.